Look like their mothers. The older one's keener, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I know what you mean. Why don't you try giving them both a miss this trip? And take the mother out. <laughs> she might do worse by the side of it. <sighs> You're heating my blood, I think I'll turn in. Sweet dreams. Good night, Sparks. The Titanic! They've struck a bird! Yes, the leg, no, they've struck a bird. They want us to come at once. They're sinking. The Titanic? Don't be a fool. It's true! I'm going to the captain. There's nothing inside. Take over. Ah, sir. sir! Sir! What the devil's going? Haven't you learned to knock before you come in here? It's a distress call, sir, from the Titanic. She's sinking. I'm sorry, sir. I... Dean, turn the ship round. Head northwest. I'll work the course out for you in a minute. Aye, sir. Now, Cotton. You're sure this is the Titanic? Yes, sir. Sir, absolutely. All right, check back. Find out everything you can. Tell them we're coming as fast as possible. Yes, sir. Carpathia, eastbound from New York. She's on her way to us. Well, how far away is she? 58 miles, sir. She's making all possible speed. She'll reach us in four hours. Four hours? Yes, sir. Well, what about that ship over there? About 10 miles away. You can see a light. Isn't she replying? No, sir. Well, she'd blast our ears off if she did. Maybe she can't keep a 24-hour watch. Maybe she hasn't got wireless at all, sir. All right, Bride, thank you. Mr. Moody. Sir? Tell Mr. Boxall to fire the distress rockets. One every five minutes from the port side. Aye, aye, sir. Port side birds all swung out, sir. Shall I fill them? Yes. Put the women and children in and lower away. Aye, aye, sir. like a rocket, sir. Yes. I wonder what a ship like that would want a fire rocket for. 